low birth weight outline introduction classification etiology risks management prognosis prevention introduction according to the who babies with a birth weight of 2500 grams or less should be designated as low birth weight lbw babies the term very low birth weight refers to a birth weight between 1000 grams and 1500 grams and extremely low birth weight to a birth weight less than 1000 grams the term micropreemie is being applied for babies below 500 gram birth weight lbw may either be due to prematurity or intrauterine growth retardation iugr the magnitude of low birth weight infants in developing world is enormous out of a total of 22 million such infants in the world, 21 million belong to the developing countries. India's share is quite substantial, 7 to 10 million. LBW constitutes 30% of live births in India. Classification 1. Malnourished the baby appears marasmic, long and thin, skin losing its normal elasticity and hanging in folds over the buttocks. Internal organs, with the exception of brain, are shrunk. Head circumference remains nearly normal and is over 3 cm more than the chest circumference. Ponderal index is below 2 against a normal of over 2.5. Since cell number is not affected, these infants are responsive to nutritional rehabilitation. 2. Hypoplastic Such a baby is proportionately small in all parameters. Since cell population is reduced, growth potential is considerably affected, resulting in permanent retardation of physical and mental growth. Incidence of accompanying congenital malformations is high. 3. Mixed Such a baby neither appears as malnourished as in type 1 nor as hypoplastic as in type 2. Reduction in cell size as well as number is characteristic of this type of IUGR. Etiology Maternal malnutrition Intrauterine infections Placental dysfunction Maternal diseases Genetic or chromosomal disorders Twin pregnancy Miscellaneous Teenage pregnancy Narcotic addiction Teratogenic agents, tobacco smoking, high altitude, irradiation, and pregnancy out of wetlock. Risks 1. Aspiration of meconium, amniotic fluid or vernix caseosa. 2. Asphyxia as a result of cerebral anoxia. 3. Fetal hypoxia or death from placental dysfunction. 4. Symptomatic hypoglycemia. 5. Polycythemia from chronic hypoxia. 6. Pulmonary hemorrhage. 7. Congenital malformations. 8. Poor temperature regulation. 9. 
hyperbilirubinemia. 10. Permanent retardation in linear growth and psychomotor development. Management The pediatrician should be prepared to prevent or tackle the risks or handicaps mentioned above. For instance, he should have arrangements for resuscitating an asphyxiated infant, a baby with aspiration, or a baby with congenital malformations. Early feeding not only prevents hypoglycemia, but also leads to rapid weight gain after three to four days of age. Prognosis IUGR infants are easy to feed and show rapid weight gain after age of three to four days, which slows down after age of six months. Though prognosis is much better than in preterm infants, mortality is two to three times higher than in normal babies. Whereas permanent retardation in physical growth is a feature of hypoplastic babies, the malnourished infants, particularly those with hypoglycemia, show higher incidence of brain damage, learning disability, MBD, and suboptimal physical growth later in life. Prevention 1. Female literacy and formal education A well-informed, educated mother is likely to have better health before and during pregnancy. Avoid harmful agents and influences during pregnancy and show better reproductive performance and outcome. Education and training of the traditional birth attendants, TBAs, to ensure adequate care of the mothers during pregnancy and their referral to a nearby health centre in case of high-risk pregnancy is also important. 2. Maternal health status Adequate nutrition of the female throughout childhood and adolescence is a very effective way of ensuring good health status of pregnant women, provided that the so-called previous nutritional status is maintained by continued good nourishment and freedom from medical ailments. 3. Antenatal care There is evidence that birth weight is directly proportional to the number of antenatal checkups. Early detection of high-risk factors such as intrauterine infections, hypertension, toxemias of pregnancy and early intervention can prevent occurrence of IUGR. 4. Maternal infections such as malaria, UTI, torch or stort, etc., if prevented or if tackled in time, can considerably reduce the incidence of IUGR.